Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of July reading for you all. July 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. How are you all today? I am doing wonderful. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. And it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the cards, you all. And it does take me a minute. Please be patient. The cards that we're using today are the Druid Craft Tarot, the Energy Oracle, and the Angel Answers Oracle cards. I want this one. see what we got. The Ace of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Ace of Cups. Sorry you all, gotta get them straight. The Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Four of Swords. You're clarifying the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, nice. Yin Yang, and Action. Action card reminds me of the chariot. Don't stop, and a year from now. Sorry, bless my heart. Give me just a minute, okay? It looks like things are looking up, you all. It really does. But, you know, I get this action card. I get these two aces, which tells me new beginnings and new chapters in your life. Fire, passion, um, energy. Just really good feelings with this Ace of Wands. And then this Ace of Cups is your emotions and your happiness. And your, um, you're just smiling. And then I get this Two of Cups over here that tells me some of you guys might be getting into a new relationship or moving on to the next steps in your relationship. Some of you guys might be meeting someone that you're going to fall head over heels with. So these all get me excited. And a relationship for some of you is very important, but for some of you, you don't want it. But guess what? You might be getting it anyway. <laughs> Whether you want it or not. It's funny how things like that work. You might go to a party, meet someone, and go, holy cow, I feel like this is the right person for me, even though you weren't looking and you didn't necessarily want a, a, a romantic partner. So don't be surprised if that happens, okay? Hold on a second. So I'm feeling... 
there's all kinds of uh, emotions right now that I'm feeling with this card, with these cards. I feel like for some that's a relationship that's going to get closer and closer and closer. And let me explain this Two of Cups real quick. When I get the Two of Cups, you guys, I feel like that this is a true love. This is a, a soulmate. Some people call it twin flames, whatever you want to call it. I feel like that this is a person of a lifetime that's really connected with you and that you guys have a bond. And even if, let's say, that you just met this person, you're going to feel that right off the bat. If you've been involved with this person, I have a feeling you may be getting married within a year from now. You may be getting engaged, you may be getting married, you may be moving in together within a year from now. Even if you if you've been with this person, you might those things might be happening. I feel like within a year from now is going to be different things for different people. Whether it be this relationship, now I see this usually as a romantic relationship, but it doesn't always have to be. This can be a business partner or a partnership in different ways, a, a different kind of partner. So maybe you're opening your own business, especially with this Eight of Pentacles, or you're starting something new, and this could be a business partner. It could be a romantic and a business partner. You guys might open a store down the street or a website or something to that extent. But I feel like that there will be someone coming into your life, whether it's romance or not, that's going to be helping you out. Friend, maybe could be all kinds of people. Hold on a second. You know, when I get the Four of Cups in reverse, this is a new opportunity coming in for you guys. When it's the right side up, it means that you're kind of feeling sorry for yourself and you're kind of stuck in a blah moment. There can be a new opportunity behind you if you'll pay attention, but when it's in reverse to me, it says a new opportunity is coming in. This new opportunity is either this romantic relationship, this new job, this new promotion. Um, maybe it's a... Some kind of, of money coming in, whether it be a promotion, a bonus, a pay raise. They get me. This gets me excited. It makes me feel like a lot of you guys may be getting some kind of financial gain. You may be falling in love. You may be um, whatever you're thinking about right at this moment, whether it's that job or that business or that love life or moving somewhere, I do believe it's going to happen a year from now. Engagements, marriages, new homes, new jobs. Maybe you've got a, um, a business that you're opening and you'll start seeing income. Your financial income will be getting greater in a year from now. Because you, we all know that when you open a business, you don't see uh, money the next day, right? You have to, you have to open it. You have to grow it. It has to be around for a minute, and then you eventually start seeing money trickling in. And then hopefully, if that's the case for you guys, a year from now, you'll be able to see a big difference. Some of you, this is just a different part of your life coming in. Maybe retirement. Maybe moving somewhere completely different. Maybe a year from now you'll be able to take that vacation that you've been wanting to take all your life. When I get this Three of Wands over here, you know, this makes me feel like that something is growing in your life. This makes me feel like an opportunity is um, you've planted the seeds and now they're growing. So whether it be a job or a career opportunity or a business opportunity or whether it be something in your home life, I kind of feel like it's both. I kind of feel like for some of you it's business, some of you guys it's home life, and some of you guys it's just part of life that's going to make you better, that's going to make you feel better, that's going to make your life better. And things are coming in for you. 
you're getting good response on different things in your life. And then I get the Seven of Pentacles. This is harvesting your fruit and money coming in for some of you guys. And that's another reason why I feel like some of you guys might be getting some kind of pay raise, some kind of bonus, some kind of promotion, a new job possibly that's paying more. A new job that you're going to actually enjoy more and get paid more. Maybe it's like I said about that website that you're opening that's going to keep growing. And a year from now, you'll be able to see um, some kind of financial, something that will help you realize that that might be something that you can retire on. Don't know where that just came from. You know, when I get this Four of Swords, it always makes me feel like maybe you guys are overdoing it a little. Maybe you just need some um, you time. Sometimes you're stressed out. Sometimes you've been going too hard. Sometimes you've just been um, burning the candle at both ends, working too many hours, staying too busy, and you're just plumb wore out. Sometimes this could mean that you've had some kind of issues in your family or a situation that's just exhausted you and stressed you out and now it's time to rest and recuperate and recharge, re-energize. And then when I get this Nine of Wands, also it's more of the, one of those things that um, I feel like that there might be a day in July it's, it's a wounded warrior card, so sometimes people are ill or sick or not at their 100%. And, when, and, and on those days when you don't feel like dealing with people or the aggravation is usually when it happens, some kind of challenge comes in, some kind of obstacle, and you're like, man, alive, why didn't I stay in bed this morning? But you're going to get through it. It's not that big of a deal. Maybe you had a cold or the flu and you had to call in for a few days and you're trying to feel better quickly so you can get back to work and you go back before you're ready. Maybe that's where this rest is coming in. You guys aren't ready to go back to work. Take another day off. Hold on just a second. I can see things changing, you all. I can see um, I, I feel like you guys are ready for changes in your life. You're ready for excitement. You're ready for happiness. You're ready for love. You're ready for to do something that you're wanting to do for a change instead of something that you have to do. And I feel like that maybe with this yin and yang, you might you might need to go within. You might need to go um, with your intuition and your head and your heart. Sometimes you get a little, which way should I go? Well, you guys are intuitive. You guys already know um, your gut and your instincts, your guides t show you which way to go. You guys already know those things. But sometimes it gets a little congested. Sometimes you go, ah, should I do this or should I do this? My, the, my mind's telling me to do this and my, my gut's telling me to do this. And just go with your instincts. Go with your intuition. It'll be the right thing for you. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange these. This is how I see this month. Um, This just gives me a really good feeling all over. Makes me feel like 
things are changing. You know, and this might not be for everybody out there, but with this nine of wands, there may you may have been a little under the weather, and something. Um, you might be pushing yourself to go back to work when you're not quite ready yet. And when you do, the boss is going to come in or something, the CEO of the company, and you're like, man, alive, I've got to get him all these reports and I'm back behind, you know, two weeks. And, you know, that kind of thing. I'm just giving you an example. But you don't feel like dealing with something that might be thrown at you, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. So if you are under the weather, stay home an extra day. You might be tickled that you did. With this Four of Swords, it's just telling me you need rest. You need to recuperate. You need to um, maybe recharge your batteries. Sometimes you just go, 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 and then you wear yourself plumb out and you make yourself sick or get a cold or get the flu or, you know. And then when I get this Four of Cups in reverse, it really makes me feel like here comes a new opportunity, you guys. Here it comes. Whether that opportunity is with this new love or this new partner or business partner or this new opportunity is a new job or a new business in general, a new home, a new way of life, it gets me excited. You're going to take action. You're not going to stop. You're going to continue forward. And I think for a lot of you guys, a year from now is a big deal. So let's say next June. I want to say next May, June, July, 2020, a year from now. Could be engagements, could be marriages, could be babies, could be new homes, could be new jobs, could be new businesses, could be you traveling the world, moving to a totally different place, could be retiring because you started that website or started that business now or before and it's going to continually get stronger and your finances are going to get better and the next thing you know you don't have to work anymore think about that right and then i get this three of wands saying that you've planted something and it's growing and it's it's getting bigger or better this could be the business opportunity but it could be a part of your life in general could be this new relationship, maybe. And this doesn't have to be a new relationship. This can be a relationship that's been going on for quite some time. And you guys keep getting closer and closer and closer. True love. Especially with this Ace of Cups, I can feel the emotions and the happiness and the, the feelings that you guys haven't had in quite some time coming out. You feel like a kid again. You feel like uh, butterflies and things like that. And then I get the Seven of Pentacles right here that says that money might be coming in for some of you guys. And for some of you, you might not expect it. A bonus, a pay raise, things like that. Maybe a token of appreciation, maybe a little lottery ticket. Especially when I get this Eight of Pentacles. That makes me feel like new jobs might be coming in for some of you. But some of you guys may be getting that license, that certificate, um taking class or changing careers and doing something completely different to where you make more money. Something that you enjoy doing and that you're great at. And then I get these two aces. I've already told you about the cups. It's your emotions and your happiness. And then the ace of wands is your fire and your passion and your creativity coming out. New beginnings in general. It can mean a birth of a baby or a new home. But you're taking action. You're not going to stop, even if these cards come in. You're not going to let this stop you or worry you or even slow you down. And I think something very important is coming in a year from now. And it's going to be different for everybody watching, but you guys get the idea. Some of you guys are getting married. Some of you guys are going to be financially rewarded for something that you've been growing or building or something that you've made. Some kind of a project, maybe. A book. Something to that extent. I see great things happening for you guys. If you guys have been stuck, or if you guys have felt like um, you need a change in your life, I think it's coming. I definitely think it's here. 
This is you guys working hard and taking action and um, pushing yourself. All right, Pisces, this is a good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your first half of July reading, July 1st to the 15th reading for Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.